Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We're so happy you have joined us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you would like to be notified of new videos on our channel. I post, oh, sorry, I upload daily Monday through Friday and sometimes I'll throw in a sneak one on the weekends. And please feel free to leave a comment. I read them all and I do my best to answer each one, especially if there is a question. Last week, I asked a question about our videos and one of the answers was that you'd like to see more videos on gift giving, especially gift giving on a budget. Well, this year, we are gift giving on a very tight budget. All the gifts we've given so far and all the gifts we will be giving right up to and including Christmas are or will be handmade using materials already on hand, things I already have in the craft room or the shed or my office because we don't have a cash budget for gifts this year. Now, you don't need to go to that extreme and that's not my words. That was a viewer's because she thinks all handmade, all handmade gifts is extreme cheap skating but there are ways you can give gifts to those you love those you want to and save money and save time and save energy so what's an estimate of how much you could save well I did a quick calculation based on our family and the gifts we give and I came up with at least $50 a month more if you're not a cheapskater. I think it's important that we remember that gifts don't have to destroy the monthly budget. We can include them. And when you plan ahead and you shop in advance, you can easily find unique, really satisfying gifts and still stay within your budget. Because you're shopping ahead, you've planned ahead, you shop ahead, you have the time to shop around. You have the time to wait for sales, to check the clearance sections and to plan your gift buying. Adding to your present box regularly will save you a lot of money, a lot of money. And there's nothing wrong with making a gift or buying a gift ahead of time. It's a very practical thing to do. Now, here's six tips for finding frugal gifts. All of them might work for you. One or two of them might work for you. None of them might work for you. But they'll get you thinking about what will work for you. Number one is quite controversial, but re-gifting. Now, the right time of year to think about re-gifting is right after your birthday or right after Christmas. But if you have gifts that you haven't opened or you haven't used, get them out and see if they can be re-gifted to someone on your gift list. Do you have a beautiful necklace you received as a gift, but it's really not your style? Did your cousin give you a dress that's too big? Um, were you blessed with towels that just don't go with your bathroom decor? Great quality, lovely towels, they just don't go so you know you're never going to use them instead of donating them consider re-gifting them were you given a gift set of toiletries that you won't use for whatever reason can you re-gift it as is or can you break it apart and create more gifts with it perhaps put a hand crocheted um, shower puff with some bath gel for another gift. Put those really wonderful presents that were given to you with love to good use by giving them to someone else who will enjoy them. Now, just one little tip, if you're gonna re-gift, it's really important to keep track of who gave you the original present 
because you don't want to re-gift it to the same person. Yikes. So just keep track. Now, number two is plan months in advance. Last week we were talking about preparing ahead. Prepare ahead for gift giving. Now, one of the key ways to save money on gifts is to simply plan ahead. Christmas is the same time every year. Birthdays, same time every year. They don't change. So when I'm buying gifts, I shop the Boxing Day sales for gifts for the coming year or even the year after or after that. I suggest you try it. It works really well. And so you don't lose track. Create a calendar of your family's birthdays, anniversaries, other celebrations where you give gifts so that you can plan ahead. Planning ahead also gives you time and having a calendar also gives you time to create handmade gifts, to shop during the sales and to find the perfect gift or make the perfect gift. Now, as you make or find that gift, wrap it, label it, add the card and tick it off the list. Put it in the present box and it's done. You don't need to worry about doubling up because it's ready to just hand over come the event. It's ticked off in your book so you won't be stressed over having to find one a present at the last minute. You've got it. It's done. Tip number three is one of my favourites. Shop at op shops and thrift stores. Your recipients do not have to know where you purchase the gifts. They don't have to know that it came from next door neighbour's garage sale or the school fete or whatever. That's your business, not theirs. <laughs> Discover, you can find some beautiful gifts at op shops. You can find them at resale shops, at garage sales, trash and treasure markets, um, white elephant stalls at school fates, buy swap sell groups. You can find brand name items and they're for a fraction of the retail price. But better than that, you can find beautiful, beautiful vintage items for a bargain price. So if someone on your list loves vintage linens or collects a particular china design or a particular colour of tablecloth or candlestick or whatever, you are sure to find a bargain that will suit them at an op shop. And by planning ahead, you have time through the year to look. Number four, this is where my challenge comes in. Consider gifts of your time or talents. Now, this isn't just an idea for kids. You can gift your time or, or a skill that you have too. Do you enjoy cooking or baking? Can you repaint an entire room in one day? Do you enjoy gardening? If you have a unique, uh, sorry, if you have a unique talent or you simply want to give the gift of your time, for someone to use and it could just be for morning tea or reading a book or sitting in the garden in the sunshine it doesn't have to be for anything in particular then you can save money and make the recipient happy too just think outside the box number five i just mentioned but consider online swap groups and giveaway groups join your local facebook buy swap sell groups or perhaps your city has an online group that gives away free items or swaps within that group just in your neighbourhood. Join them and keep an eye open because you can find wonderful gift ideas online and they are free. And lastly, number six, make your gift. You know, handmade items cost big dollars at specialty gift shops and markets. They're even expensive at your local church or school fete. So don't feel guilty about giving a handmade gift. Don't think that your gift isn't as valuable as one you would have bought from a department store. Gifts of baking, sewing, crochet work, knitting, pottery... They're all budget friendly if you make them yourself and they're usually quite easy because 
you have a talent or a skill in that particular area so you know what you are doing. For those of you with green thumbs, you can create beautiful gifts for next to nothing by taking cuttings from the garden or collecting seeds and growing plants or collecting seeds and starting a seed box for a buddy gardener. If you're a knitter or you can crochet, you can make dishcloths. I make dishcloths all the time. I haven't got one handy here. Or you can decorate face washes. You can decorate hand towels and pillowcases. You can crochet the edges of serviettes or if you like embroidery or cross stitch you can embroider them perhaps you could monogram them just let your imagination run wild think about your skill think about your talent think about how you would like to see it used on something that you'd like to receive there you go you've got six ways you can save money on gift giving None of them are really extreme. They're all simple. They're all practical. They're all doable if you really want to do them. If you find gift giving taking a huge chunk of your budget, rethink how you gift and look for frugal gifts because frugal gifts can really and truly help you trim your gift budget and save money. You can give wonderful presents without spending a fortune when you choose to you just need to make the decision to do it before i go thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you like this video a thumbs up would be lovely and very much appreciated please feel free to share this video or any others of on our channel it helps youtube but more importantly it helps our channel to grow and to be recognized more easily and the easier it is to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is absolutely perfectly okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, and that it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Happy Chief Skating, everyone. <laughs>